So research and politics have always had this very close relationship with each other. And I think particularly this relationship has the dislike nature, you know. So, I mean, for example, if we look at the recent case of um, the Trump administration revoking the student visas for international students at Harvard, I believe it's a clear case of politics versus academics. Now, uh, we have had so many such examples in the past, you know. One example that I particularly recall at this moment is the example of Galileo from Italy uh, and how his claims, his scientific claims, went against the beliefs of the Catholic Church. So in 1600s, the Catholic Church believed that it was Earth which was at the center of the universe and this theory was also known as the geocentric model. Now, Galileo, who was a physicist and an astronomer, he had a telescope which he improved uh, and using his observations, he came up with a new claim that it was not Earth which was at the center of the universe, no. It was Earth which was revolving around the center of the solar system, which is the Sun. Now, this was known as the heliocentric model and this model supported a claim by Copernicus in the previous years. But this was actually seen as a threat to the Catholic Church's um, power and Galileo was actually forced by the Roman Empire during that time to recant his belief in the heliocentric model and publicly claim that this is wrong. Now, what actually happened was, uh, even though Galileo was under the pressure of, you know, um, torture or execution and he had to, you know, publicly say that, okay, this is not how it works. But under his breath, he made a statement which is actually seen as a power of uh, academic freedom against the tyranny of uh, politicians. And he made the move that Apple si moves. What this really means is, yet it moves. So basically, it shows his strong belief again that the Earth actually moves around the Sun even if anybody forces me to say otherwise or even if anybody else believes in something else the earth does actually move and this statement today is seen as the strength of academic freedom uh, i think this is a story very inspiring for all the academics and i'm wishing everyone lots of strength uh, especially from those who have been impacted by the harvard decision take care and i'm sure things will get into place soon